In today's video, we'll showcase the New York premiere of the movie Land of Women. The film is directed by Carlos Cedes and Ken Biller, starring Ava Longoria, Santiago Cabrera, Victoria Bazua, Carmen Maura, Gloria Munoz, Ariadna Gill, and Lena Shepard. Make sure to watch the video till the end as we bring you exclusive interviews with the cast and crew of the movie on the red carpet. Oh my gosh, it's a really fun show uh, about three generations of women, my mother, myself, and my daughter. And we have to flee New York and we go to the hometown of my mom in Spain and chaos ensues because we're escaping bad guys. I'm trying to hide my family. I'm trying to provide for my family. And it's really a fun journey of these three women finding strength in each other, but also in themselves and really know, knowing like, oh my God, I can do this. I can do this. I'm, I'm capable. Um, and it's, it's, you know, it's a dramedy. So it has a lot of, a lot of comedy. I'm a fish out of water in Spain. I'm this American who's never been to Spain and I kind of speak the language. And so it's, it's a lot of fun. And I just wanted to shoot in Spain. I called Ramon Campos and I was like, Ramon, write me a show in Spain. And he found this book and he found this uh, uh, amazing story. And before you knew it, I was acting in Spanish in the middle of the wine country in the north of Spain. So I was so happy. The way of life in Spain is so great. People really appreciate life. They don't really um, live to work. They work to live. And, you know, you know, even our hours were so amazing because people want to go home to their families, um, you know, wine at lunch. I mean, it's just all of it. The whole lifestyle is definitely right up my alley. You know, I love when you break the mold of TV, and I feel like we did that with Desperate Housewives back in the day. And for me, I haven't been in front of the camera in a while. I've been directing for the last 12 years, and I thought if I do go back to TV, I want it to be challenging and something different and something you wouldn't expect. I've never acted in Spanish. Um, I also think TV is so dire and it's so depressing. And I wanted to do Blue Skies. I wanted to do Escapism. Um, and I really wanted to um, have a show you could really get lost in and not stress out about the apocalypse or you know a dystopian future where the government collapses like i was like no i really want to get lost in these characters and so i feel like those two things made it a perfect fit for apple tv plus because it was so um you know the, the programming of apple tv plus is just um innovative and fresh and i thought this show was a perfect match for that brand I was terrified to work with Carmen Maura, who's, you know, the Meryl Streep of Spain, of the world. I mean, she's so great. And um, Victoria, uh, who plays my daughter, is uh, a newcomer. She's never acted before in her, in her life, and she's so good. Um, and then Santiago, this, this handsome guy, he's not bad. He's not bad. No, no, we had so much fun because he he's a native speaker. He's from Chile. And so anytime I was like, wait, what did he say? I would always ask Santiago, what did the director say? Because I would not understand him at times. But um, we had so much fun. Uh, Santi and I, just so much fun. There was a tractor scene where we had to, he was driving the tractor. We were all strapped in. Uh, it's in the first episode. And we're soaking wet because we just fell in the river. and. And we had to be on that tractor for days and days and Santi driving and I was like, don't kill Carmen Maura, we need her. And, you know, it was like, it was so fun because we were like, where are we? What are we doing? And it was just so much fun. I think we have a, a big love and amazing spaces and the trip with, with the three girl, women to Spain. But I think it's going to be lovely, wine. Uh, I don't know, and a little bit of thriller, so uh, I think it's going to be funny. I think it's perfect because we are talking about three different uh, generations of women, and I, I think that can connect with all the Apple TV Plus viewers. We love a lot because, you know, Eva is super funny, and, and Carmen has an amazing experience, and to be there with Victoria, it was great because it was her first show, so, so this three really different women together from three different countries. It was super great. Eva is super funny, super clever, and it was amazing because she really 
loved uh, her job and and she she was super open to talk with us and it was uh, an amazing process. I'm doing great. I'm very excited for this. You know, it's been a it's been a long wait since we finished shooting the series, uh, the beginning of 23, I guess. And uh, it's just it's exciting to see it all finished and to have everybody to have the world get to see it. It's a story of three women, three generations of women in the same family, and of course our star is is uh, her the character's name is Gala Scott, and she's played by the fantastic Eva Langoria. And Eva is a kind of uh, um, maybe a little bit of a snob from New York and she thinks her life is kind of perfect but she discovers very quickly that her life isn't perfect and through some circumstances that I don't want to give away she finds herself on the run and so she grabs her mother from the home for the aged where she's living and her daughter from the boarding school and she tells them they're going on a girl's trip but really they're going to hide from some very dangerous people and but really it's a story about these three generations of women learning how to understand each other it's a it's a story about communication it's a story about uh, female empowerment um, and it's a lot of fun. Language of Woman is a series that we created to watch in, the, in reality, to watch with my daughters and with my mother. Uh, when uh, Apple asked us about a new series, I spoke with Gemma, my co-creator, and we discovered we don't have series for the in, uh, three generations to watch together. And it's a series about mothers, about grandmothers, about daughters, and about how the relations between them uh, are in, the, in, the, in our lives. In the audiovisual market, we have a lot of series for a concrete audience. And in Apple, they decide to, to push for a series for mainstream, for a big audience, and I think it's a, a good bet. I play a Matt, who is um, someone that Eva's character meets in, when she arrives in Spain. And he's a local guy, he works in wines in a vineyard, but there's a secret to him, there's a mystery to him, and uh, he's kind of, uh, they have an interesting relationship. She's fantastic. I mean, I'd, I'd worked with her, I'd met her about 12 years earlier on a movie we did together, and we got along really well, and it was just so great to reconnect. She's so much fun, and she knows what she wants, and uh, she put such a great thing together with this, and her relationship with Ramon, the showrunner and writer as well. It's great, so I was just really glad to join the team and we had a good time. It's a fun family drama, dra uh, uh, a dramedy as you, you could say, because there's so much humor to it as well. It's, uh, it's such a warm, inviting world as well. I feel it reminds me of a lot of those Italian movies in the 60s, there's such a like, or, or you know, bringing up baby or weekend in Rome, that kind of stuff. It's just fun and, and you know, it's for all the family, but also there's a lot of a lot of uh, the themes of just overcoming and, and, and women and a family of women just coming, coming together and, and, you know, fighting for the people that you love as well. We had a great time on set. We were laughing till, you know, cameras are rolling and we're just cracking up before each take. So uh, it, was, it was great. Also, at one point, we had to try the, the wine as well because, you know, there's a lot of it around. So there was one day where it was like, where's the real one? I would say without giving a spoilers that one of those early scenes, you know, all that stuff with the tractor of, like, when we meet... When our characters meet, I'm pointing that way because Eva's standing right next to me. Uh, when Eva and me meet, uh, it's it's fun. We have a great cast. Carmen Mauda, I just grew up watching her. She's a legend and she's just so sweet and amazing to work with. And uh, Victoria, it was just so great to see that, you know, the enthusiasm of a, of a newcomer. And she took it as a real pro and just got better and better as she went along. And she's, you know, she shines on, uh, on screen as well. So... It was just wonderful people all around. Kate is a teenager, you know, she's studying arts, she's an artsy girl, um, she loves to draw, she's, um, she's sarcastic, she loves her mom, she loves her grandma, and it was like a great, amazing experience to be a part of this cast, a part of this production. I'm so grateful to everyone in the production, and Eva, and Carlos, and Ramon, everyone was so nice to me, and it was really a beautiful experience to be in Land of Women. Oh my God, it was so funny. We had a great time on set and we just bonded so well behind the camera and we formed this little like family. And I think that really showed on screen a beautiful family dynamic. My first ever project from Eva, I keep it till this day. She told me one day, don't act just for being famous. You gotta act for the love and passion you have 
for the art. And so I keep that with me every day. I want people to remember that and see that trans people, you know, Kate is trans and the trans people are beautiful human beings. We're just like anybody else and we're talented. We're amazing humans. Everything's possible if you put your mind to it and if you work hard enough. I mean, people are there to help you. You just, you just gotta push through and, and be yourself. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.